Hello again and welcome everybody to Sim Race TV. I'm Jay Weezy. Tonight, the International Dirt Association race number two at Knoxville Speedway. Having a lot of fun here out there. It looks like uh, Cole Harvey, the fastest car on the track right now here in this practice session. Got about a minute left here before we get started. It is Veterans Day, so I'd like to thank all our uh, veterans out there, anybody that had to sacrifice anything to help us be free here in the United States. We definitely appreciate everything you guys do, so thank you. And happy Veterans Day to everybody. But on to the racing world here. Last week, we had a phenomenal race. And we're coming back to back with another one here. One of my favorite speedway, uh, tracks out there is Knoxville Speedway. So we're going to have to wait and see who's going to be the fastest. At Lima Land last week, Austin Carr brought home the win. See Austin Carr out there tonight. So it don't look like he's going to be able to go back to back unless he comes in a little bit late. And up in the booth with me, I got Kenny Slayton. Kenny, how you doing? Doing good. How you doing this evening? I am doing good. I love uh, these pro late models, man. And like I said, you know, Volusia and Knoxville, my favorite tracks on uh, the dirt circuit side of things here at iRacing. And, you know, I love the racing action that goes on here at Knoxville. Uh, a lot of fun out there. It looks like they have a lot of side by side and definitely usually a battle up front for the lead. Uh, a lot of competition here. So it's going to be tough on these guys. Yeah, I was noticed the berms and in, in the corners on the inside. You know, the one going into uh, one and two looks like it's about 18 inches tall, with the one and three and four is about 10 inches tall. So it ought to make for some excitement if you get to. Yeah, and sometimes they'll get up on there, you know, and uh, that left front tire get up on the berm. Sometimes it upsets the car, and sometimes they pick up a little bit of speed down there somehow. But we're moved on to qualifying here. and we're watching the 21 car, Nathan Kassler. I call him the low line legend. He's out there running around right now in that 21. Let's see his first lap here as he crosses the start finish line. Looks like a 18.921. That's good enough for fourth. Cole Harvey right now. This guy, the 22, he's the fastest one on the pole right now. He was the fastest in practice in his second lap, even faster, a 689. So almost a tenth and a half there separating first and second. Cole Harvey really coming out fast here at Knoxville, Kenny. Yeah, they get those things wound up. It takes about a three quarters of a lap and they're running about wide open. So. We'll see if you can hang on to it. The track's got a lot of moisture in it right now, so the best you can do on qualifying will get you a good start in the heat race and uh, get you into this. Yeah, and it's going to be a good one here. 50 laps coming up, race number two of the season. And uh, tell them a little bit about the uh, season this, this season, man. It's the online dirt connection. Yeah, we're... Uh, of course, tonight it's the Mars series. We're running here in Knoxville, and then tomorrow night's Monday night with the Bruce Built uh, Iron Man Open Wheel Modifieds. We'll be at Lanier, and then Tuesday night it's the Southern National Series. We'll be at Volusia, get some supers out there, and then Wednesday we'll wrap it up with the Shaper's Old Old Man Series, and I believe we're at Lima Land. So it's just uh, week number two. That's awesome, man. And, you know, I was checking out the online dirt connection. I uh, went to the website, looked at the little simulator car you got, man, with the monitor in there. I mean, that's a real car, ain't it? It sure is. It's a master build. It's uh, we've had that thing about five years. We've had it at Eldora for about three events. I've been to car shows, birthday parties. You name it, we can enter. That's pretty cool, man. I bet the kids are loving it, and even the grown folks, you know. I, I know I'd get in that thing and have a ball, but, I mean, it's pretty much the same thing we're doing over here, you know, just a, a little better rig, I would say. Yeah, you know, I've had Daryl Lanigan, Hudson O'Neill, Brandon Overton, Bruce Skinner, Dell McDowell, Shane McDowell, Chris Ferguson. I've had them all in it at one time. That's pretty awesome, man. Some big names in there. Uh, well, hey. 
appreciate you coming on board here for the International Dirt Association, man. And, and it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, SRTV Network partnered up with IDA, man. And it's been a couple great seasons we did last season. We're back here for season two. And uh, give us just a second. We got about a minute left here in practice or in qualifying. And uh, Cole Harvey still on the pole. Keith Hackney in second. Bryson Dafford in third. J.D. Brown in fourth, and Thomas T.J. Coggins, he's in fifth right now. We'll be right back in just a second. All right, that's going to do it. Qualifying, winding down here. And uh, I was checking out the Facebook stream, and it says we're live, but when I look as a, a user, I don't see it out there. So I'm not sure what's what's going on with that thing. So, hey, we're live on YouTube and Twitch right now, and uh, we'll try to get the uh, stream up here on Facebook. So if you're out there on Facebook or, well, if you know somebody trying to find it on Facebook, tell them hang tight. We'll get it together. All right, heat race number one underway here, and uh, I'm not sure what's going on with Facebook, so you might have to switch over to the YouTube side or get your buddies to switch over. And uh, hey, join us on YouTube because we're live on YouTube. We're also on Twitch, SRTV Network. So share that out there. And uh, like I said, I'm not sure what happened with Facebook. It was showing uh, we were live when I tried to look at it, but. Not sure how that's going. I edited it to change it to Knoxville. Maybe that's the case. I'm not so sure, but I'll put a link on our Facebook page. He race number one coming at you here with Cole Harvey on the pole. On his outside, we're going to have Thomas Coggins, second row inside, Dustin Sizemore, with Derek Dryman along his outside there. Third row is going to be Cody Cantonwine and Michael Mukahi. The fourth row is going to be the 199 of Jason Nash and Noah Samples, alongside Jonathan Cooper. And the uh, last row is uh, sp supposed to be Patrick Solari. I don't believe Patrick made it. So, hate to see that guy's missing a race. Well, he might still have him in tech. You never know. We've got eight laps, top three, make it to the feature. We're getting ready to go here. Pace trucks off the track. Cleared the way. The 22 hammers down. Cole Harvey out to a nice little start there. The 88 of Thomas Coggins. Trying not to let him get away there, but he's got some competition to his inside there. The 11 of Dustin Sizemore moving in along with the 444 of Derek Dryman. Everybody running the bottom line, at least the top three. Dustin, uh, Derek Dryman looks like he moved up just a little bit on that initial lap, or that first lap. Cole Harvey starting to separate himself early on here. Eight laps. 
How many is going to move on here, Kenny? We've got three. Top three. Only three. Two. All right. Well, we'll get that up there for you here. Harvey Coggins and Sizemore locked in right now, but they're going to have to fight for it. Derek Dryman, Cody Canton Wine, Jason Nash, Noah Samples. Right below that cutoff line. And we're watching Cody Canton Wine, Derek Dryman right now. As they are battling to see if they can get around the 11 of Dustin Sizemore. Derek slides up the track just a little bit. Cody takes advantage of that track that he gave up. And look at the 199 of Jason Nash. He overpowers the 444 down on the bottom, but can't quite get that pass complete off of turn number two. They are door to door. They drag race down into three. The 199 of Jason Nash has the nose on him, but the high side prevails. The 444 is going to take over that spot. He's going to try to work over Cody Canwine on all the time. The number eight of Noah Samples trying to move in as well. Not a whole lot of time to get locked in. The, old, the top three will move on and everybody else gonna have to fight it out in the B main. So we got a nice battle as the top three have checked out. Cole Harvey, Thomas Coggins, and Dustin Sizemore opened up a nice lead there. Cody Canton Wine, Derek Dryman, and Noah Samples is battling. And Jason Nash is waiting there for an opportunity to arise. They are almost touching there, sliding down into one. The 199 of Jason Nash all over and Derek driving as Cody Kenwine has got his hands full trying to hold off these guys. They are three wide behind him. The eight of Noah Samples and Derek Dryman get locked together there for a second. Noah's gonna take that spot there as the checker flag comes out for Cole Harvey and he's gonna be the winner for heat race number one. Congratulations to Cole Harvey. Thomas Coggins and Dustin Sizemore will advance on. Now Cole's fastest lap was the very last lap. I'll I tell you what, tired. From, from what he was looking at, uh, looking like in practice and qualifying, they're going to have a tough time uh, with him for sure. But we'll see here. Let's take a look at pit rows. These guys are getting set to pull out on the track here. Bunch of beautiful prolate models sitting down there getting ready to go round and round here at Knoxville because we're getting dirty. Love it when they start kicking up that dirt, throwing that stuff all over each other's visor. Man, this is a, a lot of fun here watching these guys. Let's go through our starting grid here for our second heat race of the night. Keith Hackney on the pole with Lucas Chowning on his outside there in that first row. Second row, that's going to go to Nate Kassler, the low line legend, and Troy Stuckwish alongside him in that Veterans Day paint scheme. That's a beautiful looking car. Third row is going to be Jeremy Freeman and Tim Christensen. Fourth row is David Clymer and Kenneth McLaughlin. Fifth row, Ralph Connor Jr. all by himself, looking to make his way from the back to the front and uh, at least try to get up to third there and lock himself in as these guys are bunching up, getting ready to go. It's going to be on Keith Hackney to hammer down here and send these babies down into turn number one, slideways. Sorry about the issue on Facebook. Uh, I'm not sure what the issue is there. I've never had a problem before, so. I think it might have been a last minute edit because I changed the track name. Green flags out, Jeremy Freeman with a great start there. Keith Hackney takes off and leaves Troy Stuckwish to battle with Nathan Kassler. They're side by side there. Troy loses some ground there, drops back behind Nathan Kassler. The 47 of Lucas Chowning holding on to that number two spot. As the top three will move on. Nate Kessler, he is using that low line right now here early in this race, and it's working out for him. He's kind of moving in on the 47 there. Chowning, Chowning trying to hold him off here as Nate is making a move to the inside there as Keith Hackney is uh, off to a great lead there. Uh, best place to be out front. So, gotta love starting on the pole, Kenny. 
Yeah, he's taking care, taking advantage of that aerial, that aerial dynamic. There's free air out there, so makes it a little bit tough for the guys in second. They're running side by side, and the guys try to make the top work, but hopefully the bottom will prevail. Give us. Well, we're going to find out right now. Nate Kessler, the low-line legend, he's making it happen down there on the bottom. But I'll tell you what, Chowning not making it easy for him here because they are fighting for that spot. The 47 really making good work of that high line there, but the 21 fighting hard on the bottom. But right now, both of these guys locked in. We're watching Troy Stuckwish here. Troy trying to hold on to that number four spot there and uh, try to get up to that third spot there if he can take it away from one of these guys. Maybe uh, if they get together, he'll be in a good spot there. So that'd be a, our dirt definition of a lucky dog, I guess. Yeah, but finishing four is not bad. It puts you on the, hut, on the pole of the C main or B main. So but I'd rather be there. If I can't be third, I'd rather be. Absolutely, you know, uh, it gives you a better shot. You get to start these guys off with two to go. Keith Hackney still leading them around, and they are still fighting for that number two spot. Whoever gets it, the other one will still be locked in, but they ain't giving up as the white flag waves here for Keith Hackney. Keith Hackney's fastest lap of this race is 18.691. That's about two tenths, uh, a little less than two tenths faster than Lucas and Nathan. They're gonna battle it out all the way to the checkered flag here, and it's gonna go to the 47. He's gonna take home the second spot as Keith Hackney walks away with this win for heat race number two. Nathan Kassler, he locks himself in. Troy Stuckwish in fourth. Moving on, Kenny, they keep it going here pretty quick on the heat race number three already with a very fast car starting on the pole once again. Bryson Daffern, uh, Daffern, uh, he's always fast. Every time I see him, he's out there battling up front somewhere, and this time he gets to start him off for heat race number three. And alongside him, it's going to be Jaden Walker, Jarrett Murphy in the second row on the inside with Todd Hook alongside him. Third row is going to go to Dustin Hall on the 331 alongside Carl Young, watch out for that guy because Carl Young's super fast. Fourth row, the 41 of Stephen Brady is going to be on the inside. Josh Corkwell alongside him. And the last row is going to go to Brooks Trammell, the 24 car. Yeah, that was a great race there, uh, the Doubtful Gamer on YouTube. Uh, battle for about eight laps for that number two spot and the 47 prevailed on that one nate kessler he really hung on tight down there on the bottom usually the high side kind of walks away which is i think why he got that win uh he was able to utilize that high side and get that run off the uh, last turn there to the start finish line yeah i believe our guy running second there in the 47 he got it Got a hold of that berm in three and four, and he lost, I mean, one and two and three and four, and he lost momentum, couldn't get back on the gas, and it was just enough for him to get around. Yeah, that'll give you a, a little problem. I've hit it uh, quite a few times. Sometimes you'll get off of it. It'll upset your car when you come off of it and send you straight up the track, and you get really close to the wall sometimes, maybe uh, even tapping the wall there, but you definitely lose a tenth or, or more. Uh, just getting on it. Some of these guys I've seen uh, actually use it to their advantage as the green flag comes out for heat race number three. Bryson Dafferin out front, three wide for second there. That's the 25 of Jared Murphy, the 090 of Jaden Walker. Todd Hook there as well. Top three will advance out of this one. We got another heat race coming up after this one. 090. That's Jaden Walker. He slings it up there on the high side. There is the 181, our race leader, Bryson Deffern. Him and Jared Murphy running the bottom side, third and fourth, up a little bit higher. Looks like the 30 of Carl, Carl Young's trying to move in. Let's keep an eye on Young because right now he started sixth. He's up to fifth and he's looking to lock himself in to this main 50 lap race here coming up. 
And I can't blame him here. So, oh, the 23 got ever so close there. That's Todd Hook. He almost got into that 090 of Walker. They separated themselves there. Still keeping an eye on Carl Young. He's losing a little bit or gaining a little bit from the uh, action going on in front of him. And he slings it down in there. Back up front, Jared Murphy still trying to run down. Bryson Daffer and Jaden Walker all the way up high still. He's using that high line, Kenny. Yeah, I'd say uh, come feature time, yeah, I'd put a little bit taller gear on the guys running 50 laps. It'll come into play there. Well, right now he's holding on to that advanced, that last advanced spot to move on to the main, but you better watch out because Todd Hook will steal that thing away from him as soon as he can. 23 running pretty much the same line. Carl Young as well up there. But our top two running the bottom and looks like they're pretty quick there. Our leader ran a 18.720. Murphy's fastest lap is a 18.786. Jaden Walker with a 18.793, which was his last lap right there. Contact Jared Murphy and Bryson Daffer and get together. Uh, wow. With the white flag out. We'll have to go back and take a look at that if we get a chance. But right now, Jared Murphy, he's in that spot. I think Young got caught up in that as well. Uh, Check a flag to Jared Murphy. He's going to take the win here for heat race number three. And let's go back real quick and see what happened to Bryson Daffron. Yeah, Jared Murphy all over the bottom. A little bobble from the 181. And they go around. And that's going to collect the 090 as well. Jaden Walker finishes eighth after running very well up on the high side there in third. Let's go back live here. Because heat race number four is coming in. Coming in hot, I would say. Yeah, I'd say the officials are having a pretty good chat right now. Let's see what what it plays out. Yeah, I hate to see that for Bryson Daffer, man. Jarrett Murphy awful fast. And, you know, a little bobble when you're running that close together. It's kind of hard to stay off of each other, but... All right, he raced number four starting lineup. J.D. Brown on the pole with Shane Kelly to his outside there in the seven. The second row is going to be Wes Gwaltney in the 81 with the 515 of Chris Cox alongside him. Third row is going to be that 022 car. That's J.D. Sass with a 85 machine of Ronald Corkwell. Fourth row is going to be the 28 of Hollywood, Charles Silvis. And on his outside is the 175 of Richard Stallings. You see him in that blue late model over there trying to pop wheelies and stuff. Fifth row, that's going to be Brian Lambert in the 15 car starting tail end of the field. They're going to make their way around one more time and heat race number four will be underway. That was a tough, tough... Uh, break there for Bryson Daffron, man, leading a lot of laps. Fast car. Uh, and I know Jared, I know he didn't do that. Any intentional, uh, I don't think he has an intentional wrecking bone in his body. So just a little bit, a little bit of racing going on there. And old Bryson got the short end of that one. Kind of like uh, Kurt Busch today. Yeah, it is what it is. And I'm sure they'll talk well, hopefully, if not, there's going to be some problems in the pits. The green flag is out. The 14 of J.D. Brown. Your race leader there. The 81 of West Gwaltney already looking to the inside of the 7 there. Shane Kelly, but he's going to back it down there because the top three is going to be locked in here. So as long as he finishes in the one, two, or three position. He should be fine, but right now we got a battle between J.D. Sass and Chris Cox there. Chris is up on the high side with Hollywood Charles right behind him, the 28. J.D. using the bottom, him and Wes Gwaltney, along with the seven of Shane Kelly and J.D. Brown. They're all running down on the bottom, so they must have heard something over the radio. 
Uh, something about the bottom was working, maybe. I don't know, but a lot of cars on the bottom in this one. But Chris Cox and Hollywood Charles, they're using the high side right now. J.D. Brown's locked in. Shane Kelly, he's locked in. And Wes Gwaltney, he's locked in, but he's got to watch out because J.D. says he's not, and he's looking to make it. So he's starting to put some pressure on the 81 of Wes Gwaltney. the cockpit of the 022 the helmet cam all over the back of here of wet west gwaltney there and you can hear them working that throttle there as they come off of turn number two and head down the back stretch jd is all over the 81 right now and uh i i can understand why you know if he can get around him He'll take over that spot and be locked in, but if not, he's gonna be starting uh, outside second row of the B main, so it's not gonna be easy. Yeah, he's concentrating so much, he don't even wanna clean his wings. That's right. <laughs> yeah, man, you just ain't got time to reach up there and snap that thing off when you're all over somebody like he is. The 81's managed to hang on to it for now with the white flag in the air. J.D. Brown looking to take home this win here for heat race number four as we got to watch this battle between Gwaltney and Sass because Sass was all over him but couldn't get it done. J.D. Brown with the race win. He's going to walk off with the checkered flag for heat race number four. Shane Kelly, Wes Gwaltney will move on as well as we move on to our C main. How many are we taking, Kenny? This here, we got 12 laps, and they're taking the, the, the top five. Top five is going to move on, and right now, it's looking good for Brooks Trammell, Charles Silvis, Derek Dryman, Ralph Connor Jr., and Josh Corkwell. Let's look down on pit row. Some of these beautiful paint jobs on these Pro-Late models. As we get set for 12 laps here around Knoxville Raceway, the 24 car starting on the pole, that's Brooks Trammell with 28 of Hollywood. Charles Silvis to his outside there. Second row is the 444. Derek Dryman on his outside is the four of Ralph Connor Jr. Third row is Josh Corkwell in the 58. Watch out for him. The 175 of Richard Stallings is going to be alongside him. Fourth row is going to be the 05 of Michael Mukahi and Kenneth McLaughlin, the 67. Fifth row is going to be Jaden Walker in the 090 and Ronald Corkwell in the 85. Sixth row. Uh, looks like the sixth row is going to be Stephen Brady and Brian Lambert. Is what I'm reading is correct. <laughs> what the. Take a look on the track. Two, four, six, eight, ten. There's 12 cars, so yeah. It's like six rows. Yeah, I was in the pits earlier, and the guys were, you know, for those that are watching this on a replay or watching it live, these guys are all over the world. And there was a couple of guys were talking about it snowing where he lives. And, but these guys, they build their own cars. They paint their own cars. do their own air pressure. Their shocks, springs, J-bar. So yeah. They're on their own with what they're doing. So here we go, Green. You ain't lying. It's a lot of work, too. You got to know what you're doing as the green flag comes out here to begin 12 laps of action for the C Main here for the International Dirt Association. Pro Late Models here. Race number two at Knoxville Raceway, season number two. And it's just got started here with the 24. Leading them around, Brooks Trammell. Jade, oh, Charles Silva's trying to make a move here. Also, the 444 of Derek Drummond. He's awful fast, along with Ralph Connor Jr., which started on the tail in his heat race. 
Not this time. Five will advance right now. It's Trammell, Silvis, Dryman, Connor, and Corkwell. Or actually, <laughs> Connor and Stallings. Sorry about that. Top three, pretty tight right now. It looks like Brooks Trammell, he's able to hold on to the lead for the first two laps as we go to lap number three. Charles Silvis throws it down in there right on his door. Couldn't get the run through the corner and off, but uh, he's gonna drop back to second and that's gonna open the door for Derek Dryman to move in and try to take that number two spot. He couldn't get it done either. Uh, they're out favoring this top groove and you let off throttle just a little bit you'll lose a little bit Look at oh this. charles silvis up on the berm tries to throw a slider on the mosley designs number 24 but he couldn't get it done gets into the wall just a little bit but now the 444 pressuring brooks Driving up on the high side, way up on that cushion, up in that uh, slick stuff. It was, it's a little slicker up there, ain't it? It is, but as they get to running, each lap they go through there, it'll oh, flatten out. That's pretty good. We had a little contact there. That drops Brooks Trammell back to third, and he's barely got a hold of that. Ralph Connor Jr. up to second. Oh, no, the 24. Bad luck, man. I tell you what, he's had his hands full this whole race, and that's gonna really hurt Brooks Trammell. Drops him back to ninth. And up front, we got a battle. Three wide coming down the front stretch to 0 90. That's Jaden Walker on the high side, Ralph Connor Jr. on the bottom, and Hollywood Charles Silvis in the 28. The 444 has checked out. Three to go this time by for Derek Dryman, and he's got a 1.6 second lead over Jaden Walker. Ralph Connor Jr., he's got his hands full of Hollywood Charles Silvis, and look who it is, Kenneth McLaughlin there in the 67. I tell you what, he started a little bit further back. Uh, let's see, Kenny started eighth, and he's up to fifth right now. He's trying to lock himself in. Contact between him and Hollywood Charles Silvis. They need to be careful because they're both in the race right now. They're both in the show. Two to go. Actually, one to go. The white flag's out here for Derek Dryman. Kenny McLaughlin, all he's got to do is hold off Michael Mukahi, and he'll make it along with Derek Dryman, Jaden Walker, Ralph Connor Jr., and Charles Silvis. What a race, what a finish for those guys. That was awesome. The win goes to Derek Dryman, Jaden Walker, Ralph Connor Jr., Charles Silvis, and Kenneth McLaughlin are gonna advance. And I hate to see it for Brooks Trammell, but he's gonna finish a little bit further back. But a lot of guys are gonna take advantage of that, and I'm sure they don't mind something like that happening up front. And, uh, Gives them the opportunity to make it. All right. Yeah, just, one, just wonder how many how many of these guys here in in this B main saw the exit of four get wider and wider. So that ought to be exciting. This one's twelve laps and top eight. Make it to the feature. All right, top eight going up on the screen right now. These guys only two, four, five, uh, six. Seven cars won't make it, so. Cody Cantwine starting on the pole in the number 10. Troy Stuckwish alongside him in the 124. Second row is gonna be the 181 of Bryson Dafferin there, which had some trouble earlier. The 022, that's JD Sash on his outside. The third row is gonna be Jason Nash in the 199. And Jeremy Freeman alongside him there in the 18. Fourth row is gonna go to Carl Young in that number 30. And the number eight 
are actually the 515 of Chris Cox alongside him. Right behind Carl Young is going to be Noah Samples starting off on the inside of that fifth row with David Clymer alongside him. Six rows, Derek Dryman and Jaden Walker. Seventh rows, Ralph Connor Jr. in the four and the 28 of Hollywood Charles Silvis. And last but not least is that 67 machine of Kenneth McLaughlin. These guys here did did pretty good in their heat race, so that's why they they've all advanced to the B main. So this one here ought to be some more side by side racing because uh, I'm sure these guys have been watching and adjusting their setup. So I think it's fixing to get exciting. Oh, this is going to be a shootout right here. These guys all want to make it, but only eight can do it. As the green flag comes out, Cody Cantonwine puts the pedal to the metal here. And he gets a great start there over the number 181 of Bryson Deffrin, Troy Stuckwish in third, Jason Nash, J.D. Sass. A little bit of bottle up right there. We're going to keep an eye on this advanced position right now. Carl Young and Noah Samples barely on the tail end of being locked in. Let's see if they can do it. Carl Young's all over the back of the 18. He went high there, but the 18 gets a run off the corner, pulls up on the back of Jason Nash, throws it down into three. We got a great race going on right now. Nine to go when they cross the line this time. Noah Samples in the eight. He's the last one locked in. The 444, he's trying to make it. He's up on the high side. Looks like he's losing a little bit of ground there to those guys down on the bottom. A little bit of contact between Freeman and Young. Young throws it down in there. Noah Samples moves in to the back bumper. The 18. Freeman moves up the track. Noah Samples dives to the bottom. J.D. Sass is down there as well. Carl Young. We got a lot of action going on, Kenny. It is. Jeremy's got himself surrounded there. There's six of them there trying to get to finish in the top eight. That'll be pretty good when it gets here to the end. They're all feeling. Dryman, he's caught up with Freeman there to try to take over Freeman's advanced spot. As Freeman and Young, uh, Samples are side by side with Carl Young right in front of him, and he's got a battle right in front of him there. J.D. Sass and Jason Nash, they are going at it. Carl Young kind of sandwiched in, but he's sandwiched in a good spot currently in that sixth position, and he will advance on, but we are at five to go. We got contact Jeremy Freeman and uh, Kenneth I don't know who it was. Charles Silvis, maybe. You've got a change for the lead here. The guy, he's been working the bottom, and he's, yeah, he can't slide up in front of him, but he almost, he tried, but he's still coming back on it. Yeah, Cody Kenwine, he lost that lead to Bryson Daffron about four laps ago, and now Troy Stuckwish looking to take it from Bryson. Troy using the bottom, the high side still working there for now. But it seems like all the guys that are up front run the bottom, at least the ones that have won have been on the bottom. Two to go. Troy Stuckwish, Bryson Daffer, Cody Kentwine, Jason Nash, Carl Young up to fifth. J.D. Sass, Noah Samples, and Chris Cox, they're locked in right now. Let's go take a look at this spot. Chris Cox, he is the last one to make it, and he's got a nice little gap between him and Freeman, so no pressure from behind. Just hit your marks there. Chris, and you should be okay as Troy Stuckwitz tries to walk away from Bryson Daffron and take that checkered flag and the win. 
Congratulations to Troy Stuckwish for the win. Bryson Daffern, Cody Cantwine, Jason Nash, Carl Young, JD Sass, Noah Samples, and Chris Cox are going to advance to the main event here, which is coming up. 50 laps. Yeah, 50 laps on this big track. That's going to be something else. The guys now have got to figure out what tire compound they want to run, what gear ratio they think they need and try to keep the tires underneath this thing when it comes to lap 35 that you got something. Well, Keith Hackney's here tonight and he missed last week. And our winner last week said that he came to, uh, to beat Hackney, but now he's not here. So these guys have a, a ongoing feud, I would say. So, hey, maybe next week, They'll both be here, and we can watch that battle between Austin Carr and uh, Keith Hackney, unless it was Jacob that said I can't remember. Well, I have to go back and see, but I just remember doing the uh, interview, and they said, hey, we come over here to whoop up Keith Hackney. Well, right now, Keith Hackney seems to be one of the fastest cars here at Knoxville. Him, along with... Uh, All right, I apologize. I had to do something. Uh, forgot what I was talking about now, but these guys are doing a final practice session right now. So any last uh, changes they need to make to their setup or uh, air pressure, anything like that, they're going to do it now and test it out, but they only have a few minutes to do it. So it's kind of like a fine tuning session or maybe uh, if you want to get out there and just run some more laps to get yourself warmed up for the main event coming up. Now's the time to do it. Let's take a look at some of the people that help support the International Dirt Association. You know, while these guys are running laps, well, of course, with the computer age it is nowadays, you can tell what your tire pressure is as it's running on the track and the tire temperature. So it'll help you know if you got the right compound. You're awful intelligent there, Kenny. Well, and you know, a lot of viewers like to know that kind of information. So I appreciate you uh, throwing that out there. You got a lot of inside information. We're riding along with Nathan Kessler right now here as we're winding down here on this final practice session for the International Dirt Association presented by Online Dirt Connection. Race number two in Knoxville Raceway. And this is gonna be a good one. I did a hundred lap races here, man, that were unbelievable. Uh, so 50 laps, you know, it's a lot. It's, it gives you a little bit of time to get it done, but you don't have a whole lot of time. Uh, those 50 laps go by pretty quick, Kenny. Yeah, you still got to turn your ceiling fan on. I guarantee you, you get a little hot under the collar. 50 laps. Of it. Yeah, they got a. Uh, a fan or a blower style fan it's called the vortex they sell it's uh, i think a hundred bucks and it gives you that uh virtual feeling you know where it feels like you're riding pretty cool little deal i probably wouldn't get it uh, i got a little fan with me here but i think this fan it, you know it speeds ups and all that good stuff as you go faster i'm not for sure how it works but you'd have to check it out but yeah, I just heard about that a couple of days ago, and I was like, man, come on now. I got the Rift, and it would be awesome, you know, for that, I think. But, you know, I really don't like a whole lot of wind in my face. When I'm out there with my helmet on, I always run with the shield closed. <laughs> 
I always close the visor up. Anyways, so. Watching a battle here. Nathan Kassler, Cody Canwine, and Wes Gwalney. They've been out there playing around just a little bit. You can see that groove's getting wider and wider coming out of four, coming out of two. The guys are running through it now. It'll be there when it comes feature time, and the more they run in it, the more that little patch of moisture will get wider and wider. And they'll, they'll be going there and try to get some momentum going down the straightaway. Awesome. Yeah, see the track starting to build up a little bit of rubber there, uh, getting broke in a little bit. All right, let's go through our starting lineup here for our feature race here tonight for the IDA presented by Online Dirt Connection here at Knoxville Raceway for race number two, season number two, Cole Harvey, the 22, starting on the pole with Keith Hackney alongside him. In the second row is going to be Jarrett Murphy in the 25 at J.D. Brown in the 14 alongside him. Third row is T.J. Coggins. Thomas Coggins in the 88, the 47. That's Lucas Chowning. The third or fourth row is going to go to the 23 of Todd Hook and Shane Kelly. Fifth row is going to be the 11 of Dustin Sizemore and the low line legend Nate Kessler, the 21. Sixth row goes to the 331 of Dustin Hall on the inside. And alongside him is going to be Wes Gwaltney in the 81. Seventh rows, Troy Stuckwish in the 124. We've seen him pull off a win here in the C main. Bryson Daffron in the 181. Alongside him, he had some trouble early on, so hope he has a little bit better luck here this time. Eighth row is going to be Cody Cantwine in the number 10. And Jason Nash in the 199 is going to be alongside him. Carl Young, he's going to be starting off on the inside of that ninth row in the 30 car. And alongside him is going to be J.D. Sash in the last row. Noah Samples in the number eight. And Chris Cox in the 515. And this is 20 of the baddest. And, uh, you know, there's a, there's so many great drivers out here. You can't get them all in one race, but this is 20 of the top drivers here, uh, at least the top of the ones that wasn't uh, busy tonight that could come out and race. So good luck to all the drivers out there tonight, and thanks to all the people that's out there watching. We appreciate all the support we get from everybody. Base cars in, green flags out, 22 a car, Cole Harvey leads them off into turn number one. Keith Hagney already trying to make a move there with the left side tires on the berm. He gets a good run down the back stretch. He's got a nose on Cole Harvey as he runs the bottom around three and four, and he's going to come out the race leader as they cross the start finish line this time by. Keith Hackney, your new race leader. Cole Harvey in second. Thomas T.J. Coggins, he's in third, but he ain't in third by himself. The 14 of J.D. Brown is fighting as they are three wide coming through turns three and four. These guys are all bunched up behind them. They are three and four wide all the way back as far as you can see. And this thing is still green after all that racing. That was awesome to see. These guys really putting on a show here at Knoxville Raceway, one of my favorite tracks. Look at them as they come through turns one and two. Keith Hackney off to a nice lead there. He's got a one and a half second lead over TJ Coggins, JD Brown in third, Cole Harvey in fourth, and Lucas Chowning rounds out the top five here right now as we are five in the 50 fast laps here at Knoxville. And Trace Williams says, Go 69, get that W, son. And right now he is on track to get a W. Still out front by one and a half seconds over TJ Coggins. 
JD Brown still in third, Cole Harvey still in fourth, and Lucas County still in the fifth position there. So we got a battle brewing here between Jarrett Murphy and the 23 of Todd Hook. The number seven in there as well, that's Shane Kelly. He's got Nate Kessler in the 21 on his inside. Todd Hook and Nate Kessler on the inside. Jay, Jared Murphy up on the eye side there, as well as the seven, or as the, yeah, seven of Shane Kelly. The 181, Bryson Daffron, he's trying to move in here as he's looking to the inside of Shane Kelly, and he throws a slide across the nose of the seven, and he clears him and takes over that high line here. That's for eighth position. Yeah, I can see him sliding up there in one and two. He's getting in that new groove we were talking about earlier, and it gives him some momentum, helps him in three and four, and then he comes off three and four. And it's working. Some on the bottom, most of them on the top. As we're 10 laps into this 50 lap race, and we're watching some action between Jared Murphy, Bryson Daffron, and 23 of Todd Hook gets hooked by the 80, 181 there, Bryson Deffrin. They come together, coming across the start finish line, and that turns Todd Hook across the nose of Bryson's car there, and also collects the 25 of Jared Murphy. That hurt Jared Murphy. Let's go back and see Jared as he makes his way on to pit row here to get that thing fixed. He is. Got a handful of a car right now. It's your race leader right here, Keith Hackney. Thomas Coggins starting to catch him there as he has knocked off a tenth of that one and a half second lead, but he's got a lot more to go if he wants to catch up to Keith Hackney. J.D. Brown, he is uh, running strong in third right now. He's about a half a second behind that 88 machine. They got a big gap between them. Lucas Chowning in the 47. He's about 1.6 seconds back from J.D. Brown. Cole Harvey in the 22. He is all over the back of Lucas. I hate to see that for Jared Murphy. Uh, one of my one of my favorite drivers. Uh, and yeah, if he can, if he can get a caution, he should be able to come back out and uh, make it happen maybe he'll get that wave around that he's gonna need but yeah Todd Hook Jarrett Murphy they get collected in there uh, Bryson Daffron in the mix just a little bit I'm sure he got a little bit of damage as well maybe not maybe not I'm just saying and I'm not sure if anybody else got collected in that uh, Jason Nash is the only car behind the wall right now we still have 19 out there on the track. Keith Hackney, he's held on to that lead. He has actually opened it back up and got that 10th that Thomas gained on him back. So it's back up to 1.5 seconds out front. Thomas Coggins and in third, J.D. Brown still there in third. JD is a little over a half a second behind Thomas. Can't seem to close the gap just yet. Right now, Lucas in the 47, he's kind of running by himself, but he's got a little bit of pressure. Not too much. The 22 of Cole Harvey there running strong in that fifth position. Sixth is going to be the 181 of Bryson Daffron. Alongside him is the 21 of Nathan Kessler. Nathan using the bottom as he always does trying to take over that number six spot here from Bryson. We'll keep an eye on this battle. Let's jump in the cockpit with Nate Kessler as he runs the low line. Still no cautions out here in this 50 lap main event for the International Dirt Association presented by Online Dirt Connection. We are staying green, and you can't see a whole lot, so we might as well give that up. 
Cause he has dirt all over his visor there. Bryson Daffer starting to gain some ground there on the high side there, but Nathan Kessler not giving up here as he uses the bottom up front. Keith Hackney, he has opened it up to 1.7 almost. Yep, 1.7 seconds over Thomas Coggins, so he's starting to get a little bit further away of the 88. J.D. Brown, he is back. He is still about 0.6 behind Thomas Coggins, so the top three still the same. The 47 still running all by itself up there on the high side. There it's Lucas Chowning holding on to that four spot. Cole, Cole Harvey, he's still in that fifth spot. So we're going to watch this battle here. The only battle in the top five. Well, just out of the top five for now is these two. Bryson Daffron and Nate Kessler, they've been going at it for about eight laps. You can see that track getting a little jumpy there, going down the back straightaway. As their tires get hotter and hotter, the car, car gets a little bit looser. Those little bumps there might make him overdrive it and barely bump the ball if he does that. The 21. Yeah, those bumps start to get worse as the race goes on. They get more cars going over those bumps. They start to get more drastic. It starts to upset the car. And all kinds of crazy stuff because it really happens a lot in Volusia, uh, but yeah, it happens everywhere. Nate keeps trying. He just can't get that pass complete. Bryson Daffron strong on the high side. Yeah, but he's about to run out of real estate there on the top he goes in that corner one and two and he don't have it about 12 inches to go and he's going to be hitting that white fence with his we got another battle here for that number 10 spot carl young and troy stuckwish they are side by side they've been side by side for a couple laps now troy stuckwish had an edge on carl but carl's trying to take it back here is troy down on the bottom in that usa pro late model Carl Young in the 30. Oh, Troy gets on the berm just a little bit. Don't really mess him up a whole lot. That's what I was talking about. Sometimes they get on it and they get a little bit of a... Uh, they lose about a tenth or two, but that time it didn't seem to upset the 20, 124 of Troy Stuckwish as he is still a nose out on the 30 of Carl Young. Carl's still using the high side there, and I've raced a lot with Carl. I know how fast he is, but right now he's having trouble trying to get around Troy Stuckwish. Troy done stepped it up last season, had a little bit of trouble. This season he's coming in high, and he's uh, definitely faster than he was last season, so they better watch out for Troy. Yeah, you can see the tops getting drier and drier, one and two. You can see the smoke and the dust starting to come up when they're going three and four. Carl Young and completes it, but Troy Stuckwish throws it back down in there. And he was side by side for just a second, but Carl Young starting to pull away ever so slightly. that's going to do it. Carl Young's going to take over that spot as we got 15 to go. Troy Stuckwish not going to give up here. Keeps throwing it down in there. Carl's going to stick to the high side though. He's using that momentum and he likes it. And in the meantime, these guys are running down the 331 of Dustin Hall. Keith Hackney opened up his lead to 2.3 seconds. And J.D. Brown, he is caught up to the 88 of Thomas Coggins as they've made their way around some lap traffic. J.D. Brown up to the back bumper. He was six tenths behind. Now it's only two. So he's almost gained a half of a second on the 88. 
TJ Coggins and the 14 of JD Brown both using the bottom lane. JD's almost close enough to touch that 88. And I know Thomas can see him coming in his mirror. The 88 goes to the bottom. The 14 uses the middle. Now that's where a lot of people haven't been running, Kenny, is the middle. Yeah, they got to do something now because you're running tires on the top. They're pretty hot. Might be some moisture in the middle. Might make them give you something to pull off the corner. But you yeah. always got to go whether they're not because you can't pass them if they're in your lane. Yeah, and, you know, you do the same thing they're doing. You know, it's kind of hard to uh, gain any ground on them if y'all doing the same exact thing. So you got to kind of search around just a little bit. Throw it down in there and hammer down. <laughs> Get it done. It's a nice battle here between the 88 and the 14. Let's see if we got any other battles out there. Dustin Hall and Carl Young were going at it. Had a little bit of contact there. Troy Stuckwish, he's found his way around Carl Young and the 331 of Dustin Hall. He is working on Dustin right now, but Troy up to ninth, looking to move up to eighth here. Dustin Hall started 11th, he's up to eighth. Troy Stuckwish, he started 13th, he's up to ninth. So he's picked up four spots so far. Fastest lap is a 19.097. You see that at the bottom of your screen. As these two are side by side, Dustin in the 331, Troy in the 124. JD Brown. Go ahead. No, I was just saying we got, we're getting down to where we got seven or six laps to go, so we're gonna do something now. The time you better try. Oh yeah, it's gonna be six laps to go here for Keith Hackney. Keith, two point eight seconds out front over Thomas Coggins, and Thomas is only two tenths over JD Brown. Check out your top 10, make it easy for you. We're still watching this battle. Troy Stuckwish got his hands full of dust and all, trying to work him over for that A spot. As our leader, Keith Hackney, gets the four lap to go this time. No cautions in this, this race here, Kenny. Oh, Dustin yep. Sizemore in the wall. That was right in front of our leader, Ken Keith Hackney. Luckily, they didn't, uh, it didn't affect anybody there. It's Keith Hackney still running the bottom there. Two more times around for the 69. 3.3 seconds out front over TJ Coggins and this battle still going on. JD Brown just can't quite get to the bumper of the 88. TJ Coggins holding on to that number two spot. And the caution comes out and puts it into this one. Our first caution of the night with one lap to go. Wow. What a, what a race. These guys really did a heck of a job, but that's going to give the win to Keith Hackney, and that's going to put an end to this race here tonight for the second race of the season. Season number two for the International Dirt Association presented by Online Dirt Connection, Keith Hackney, and he led... 50 laps here. Domination by the 69 car here at Knoxville Raceway. And congratulations to the team of the 69 machines. We got our top three pulling up on the front straightaway here. We got driver interviews coming right up. But first, let's take a look.
at our race results here for tonight's race. Keith Hackney, your race winner. Thomas T.J. Coggins in second. J.D. Brown in third. Lucas Channing in fourth. Nathan Kessler in fifth. Sixth goes to Bryson Dafferin. Troy Stuckwish moves up to seventh. Dustin Hall in eighth. Carl Young in ninth. Cole Harvey in tenth. Dustin Sizemore, eleventh. 12th is Noah Samples, 13th, J.D. Sash, 14th is Cody Cantwine, 15th is Todd Hook, 16th, Wes Gwaltney, 17th is Chris Cox, 18th is Jarrett Murphy, 19th is Shane Kelly, and the round out the field is Jason Nash, which his night was ended early, so he'll take that 20th position and move on to next week. Hang tight. We'll get driver interviews coming right at you here. And don't forget about all the people that help the International Dirt Association, like Online Dirt Connection, which is your uh, title sponsor for this season, man. And, uh, hey, thanks to Kenny for that, you know. Now, these interviews ought to be pretty cool. He's going to talk about how he didn't have no lap traffic that bad, so. It went green the whole way. 50 laps with no cautions until the end. And it's going to close out under yellow. But Keith Hackney, he led all the laps out here tonight to bring home the win. So congratulations to him. Let's see if we can get a word in with our third place finisher. And Kenny, you can do the honors if you would like. Uh, you do a good job. You can handle <laughs> JD Brown, it's Jay Weezy. You got a copy? Got a copy. How'd you do it, man? In third, uh, green flag the whole race, except for the you know last couple of laps or so. But uh, you, you was about six tenths there behind TJ Coggins and... Uh, I look back up and you was right to this back bumper. What kept you from getting around the 88? I saw him check out for me, then I changed my line a bit, managed to gain back up, but just close racing, one groove. I tried a couple things, but just couldn't get the run coming out that I wanted. Well, it's becoming an, uh, uh, often that we've, we've, we get to speak, you know, like, uh, I, am I going to have to do this every race now? I'm hoping for it. Uh, Hopefully I'll be here tomorrow too. Yeah, man. Good job out there tonight. You know, you're always fast and uh, consistent, you know, consistency pays off over here. And uh, you did a great job out there at Knoxville Raceway for race number two. Started fourth, man. Finished third. Uh, I tell you what, man, I I'm becoming a fan of JD Brown. Thanks. It's, it's fun racing with these guys. It's such tough competition. It's always fun running up front. Hey man, well we we uh, enjoy watching you out there. So uh, keep doing what you're doing. And uh, anybody you want to thank for your finish tonight? Thank you, and uh, I thank IDA for putting this on, and you guys for broadcast. It's always fun to go watch, also see mistakes, what I can improve on. All right, it's JD Brown. He started fourth. He finishes third. Man, good job tonight. Thank you. Let's move on to the 88. TJ Coggins started in the fifth spot. Going to wind up second here tonight. TJ Coggins, it's Jay Weasley. You got me? I got you, buddy. How you doing? Hey, it's been a while, man. I've uh, been rooting for you out there. And tonight, you had an excellent run out there at Knoxville Raceway. Couldn't quite get to the back bumper of the 69, but tell you what, man, you, you was a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, I was kind of hoping we'd get a caution there you know, toward the middle of that race to catch back up to Keith, but um, uh, he was bad fast, and uh, I was trying to search for a little bit of speed going through one and two. Uh, I seemed to be in struggling a little bit coming out, going into the corners versus coming out. But uh, overall, it was a good race, and uh, JD was hounding me for about the last 30 laps. So I'm glad I came out and got that win while I got to second place. Hey, the 88, the Vic Hill Racing Engines Kryptonite race car, 77 Inc. Man, you did it tonight, man. Second, you know, uh, you can't always you can't always win them all, TJ. I know you can, uh, but tonight this one slipped away from you. But you had an excellent uh, run out there tonight, and you kept it clean. Uh, great race by all you guys, man. 
caution didn't come out till two to go so uh we enjoyed it up here in the booth man hopefully you did as well out there on the track always man i had a good time anybody want to thank uh, i want to thank my team uh no name motorsports getting ready to change names but um just want to thank you for broadcasting and uh thank jeremy for blake for uh putting it hey man thank you for putting on a great show as always and always good talking to you thomas see you jay Weezy. all right we're gonna move on to our race winner the number 69 of keith hackney started on the pole finished on the pole it's starting to become normal for him so he probably won't be too excited about it but we'll see if we can get a talk in with him keith hackney it's jay Weezy. you got a copy what's going on buddy and hey. uh correct correction i started outside pole oh yeah yeah you started second finished first yeah and you took that lead pretty quick yeah i knew um i was debating on whether to run the middle middle line or high line in that first turn but i seen he entered real low so i knew he was going to slide up so i just tried to take advantage advantage of him as quick as i could because i, I knew if i got got to the front you know i wouldn't have to worry about trying to figure out their to get around me so it all worked out pretty good yeah and i appreciate the correction on that man you know uh, it's always good to uh, be humbled by a king like yourself uh but yeah man you know you, you you led that first lap so you took that lead pretty quick which is one of the reasons i got a little confused there but uh you led all 50 laps here tonight which is nothing unusual for the 69 and i see your competition didn't show up tonight and uh, they said you know I forget what they said, but you you know what I'm talking about. And hey, maybe next week this feud will continue, and we'll be able to see the battle. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, I I wasn't even going to run tonight. Um, I'm uh, actually running another another two leagues on Sundays, and I didn't have the best of luck in uh, my first race tonight. So I I seen I had time to jump over here. So that's the reason why I jumped on over here, and um, I'm glad I did. Um, car was fast all night from beginning to the end um i was just pretty much you know trying to coast around there in the feature um i cut it pretty close on the field because i figured we'd actually have some cautions and we didn't so i slacked off a few laps and i just kept on looking to see um where second place was i noticed they was gaining a little on me i, I tried not to let it get underneath 1.3 and if you know once it got to there i tried to just pick it back up but um other than that it was a, a pretty smooth race and um i just want to go ahead and uh, thank HRE uh, for bringing bringing me on here recently. So new team, new look, um, extreme decals, uh, dirt all access, uh, Colby's um, uh, eye paints. I mean, they're actually tremendous. And uh, I race an eye flag. And um, y'all for doing the superb job that y'all are doing. And Blake and Jeremy, I try to support them whenever I can. Hey, it's awesome, man. We love it, you know. And uh, it's a pleasure talking to you, as always, man. Congratulations on the win tonight, man. You dominated out there at Knoxville Raceway. And what a race by everybody, man. No cautions till the end. So uh, you did have a 3.3 or 3.4 second lead there early on. So you kind of opened up a can tonight. Yeah, like I said, I mean, I just tried to coast along tried to hit my lines my car got a little tight at the end because i was running low on fuel i just tried to baby it around there really wasn't trying to spin the tires and then once lap traffic played a role i mean i knew once i tried to get by you know through them pretty easy um i knew that tj and them it would be a little bit more difficult because i've already got that run on them so i mean good run to tj and jd both and i'm just glad to be back absolutely man well another win for the 69 team so congratulations on that hope to see you tomorrow or next week man so uh if you can make it come on over all right buddy thank you i hate to go but i gotta go to another league all right man congratulations all right thank you i was our winner keith hackney and uh kenny i tell you what man he is fast he won a lot of races over here for the international dirt association but tonight he won this one here at knoxville raceway 50 laps without a caution till the end so great drop job by all the drivers of the international dirt association i enjoyed it up here watching it it was a whole lot of fun hopefully you did too kenny yeah it was awesome uh you know the mars series um hats off to them for being our supporter on our sunday night program and you know tomorrow night it's uh, bruce build open wheel modifieds for running them at lanier 
like it starts at nine o'clock and then Tuesday we're running the Southern National Series uh, Super Late Models at Volusia and then on Wednesday it's the Safer Oil Ironman Series at Lima Land. So as usual you did a great job and uh, and uh, look forward to tomorrow night and I'm going to get in there and see if I can't burn me some laps. Absolutely man. Thanks again for coming up here with me and thanks to everybody for out there watching tonight. The International Dirt Association's race number two presented by Online Dirt Connection. We appreciate all the support from you guys out there. You are what makes this all the fun and I hope y'all enjoyed it tonight. Until next time, I'm Jay Weezy with Kenny Slayton. We'll see you tomorrow night. We'll be getting dirty in the modifies. See you, t see you then. Actually, we'll be back live here in about 10 minutes. So come back and watch some asphalt NASCAR style Cup Series, the USRL at Chicago Land. Everybody, have a great night.